Tonight, we're going to delve into a serious subject. Weekends are for hustling. If you're broke, if you have unpaid bills, if you have a card note, if you don't have a checking account that has money in it, if you don't have a savings account with money in it, if you have student loans, if you have unpaid bills, if you have needs, weekends are for hustling. They're not for hanging out with your friends. They're not for hanging out with your boys. They're not. Weekends are for hustling if you are in a state of financial lack. Weekends are for hustling. And I'm going to explain why I'm doing this video because I had some other stuff to do, but this is something I need to break down to y'all. If this is your first time here, Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather, what we do is get money through hustling and entrepreneurship. If you need some money, the principle here is get more money. Don't try to scrimp and save and scrap, scrap. No, no. Go out and get more money. And do me a solid. <clears throat> go below and get on the text notification list because YouTube does not send notifications to everyone. Even if you ring the bell, it doesn't matter. Also, I have a gift for you and it's 100% free. Go below and get the free books. They're going to, this my gift from me to you to help you hustle better. Free gift, no strings or nothing. I, I won't even send you a bill. So let's get into why I'm doing this stream. There was a situation. I had some furniture that I was going to give away. Now this furniture would probably get 150 to 200 bucks on Craigslist. Just give it away. I made a mistake. I put it up on the weekend. There are people who need furniture. There are people who need to hustle. There are people who are broke. I respond to the massive query of people who's like, yeah, I'll come get the two side shares, two Ottomans in the rug. I'll come get it. Cricket, cricket, cricket. Let me tell you what one Glendon Cameron would have did. I'm speaking to myself in the third person. I feel that's appropriate. When Glendon Cameron, if Glendon Cameron has saw that ad at any point, in his storage auction reseller career would have been on the phone like Johnny fucking on the spot. I had a situation. I was getting ready to leave the office. I was tired. I had a pocket full of money. Let me let me go ahead and say this again. I was tired and I had made 3,800 bucks that day. My, it was still in my pocket. And I went on Craigslist one more again. And someone had immediately placed a leather sofa love seat chair and i was like because it looked like immaculate so i hit him up i was like you know what i'm not even going to question it's like this was my response hey my name is glendon i have a truck i have people i will be there within 30 minutes if you're within 30 minutes of me or however long i will come now once you give me your address person hit me back. He said, you're the first one to respond. And I like your response. So I roll over there, big ass house. They're moving. The shit doesn't fit on the moving truck. This is why they were giving it away. It didn't fit on the moving truck. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I was sitting there like, you know how many times that I have was tired. I had money but it was still fucking hungry. So I go there. The stuff is like the movers. Cause I was just going to move it myself. Cause I was diesel. I would, I could move water, drive refrigerator up, flights. Is down. I was like, no problem. I rapid move. movers put the shit on the truck for me. I sold that set for 1400 bucks. I was tired. I had money, but I was still hungry. And let me tell you why I was still hungry. I put up that video of me living in that boarding house for a reason. That used to be my reality. 
I lived in a room with no heat, no air conditioning. I had to go across the hallway to use the bathroom. My neighbors were fucking crackheads and I would become Jewish because I am never, ever going back to that shit again. Never. And that's why I am still hungry. That's why I'm tired, pocket full of money, still went out there and got it. Now I'm saying this because there are many of you who don't listen to what I say. There are many of you who are looking for a shortcut. You're looking for some hack because you don't want to put in the fucking work. If you are broke, you need to live on the free section on Craigslist. You need to be checking that shit at work. You need to be checking it on your break. You need to be sending out offers. If you're broke, if you don't have money in the bank, you don't have cash, you're fucking broke and you think you can take the weekend off while the rent man is coming. The re you got to hide your fucking car because the repo man, you playing dodge hide and seek with the repo man. But, oh, it's the weekend. I'm going to go to Miami for this party. I'm going to hang out with my buddies when you are fucking broke. And I got all kinds of excuses. I was like, nope. And there was one person who was like, well, hey, I'm on my way. And then he did this. I'm going to reserve it, but I'm going to go pick it up when I want to pick it up. What did I say when I started this stream? I'm Glendon Cameron. I'm your fucking hustling godfather. I know all the rules. I know the game. I invented the game. I played the rules. I know what's going on. He just said that to hold it when it was a convenient time for him to come get it. I was like, it's gone. So this is what I'm going to do. I took down the Craigslist ad and I'm going to put it up Monday morning because people are more productive. And I guarantee you that circuit's going to be gone on Monday. Because it was the weekend. People couldn't be bothered to come get this free fucking furniture. It's in great condition. You could, I'm just sitting here. I'm like, if Glendon Cameron saw that on a weekend, on a Friday night, 8 p.m. and saw that. And that's why I'm sitting here in this chair. And that's why you fucking watching me. If that sound elitist, fuck you. Because I want to get rid of all the trash. I want to get all rid of all the people who ain't about it. I want to get rid of all the lazy people. I want to get rid of all of the folks who want to pose and posture on Facebook and Instagram. Now, if you heard this message and you were inspired, welcome. Because if you hear something that triggers you, ah, he said he got money. Oh, fuck him. Fuck him. Because he, you know, I don't have no money. I'm living in my mama's basement. I'm living with this chick I don't like because I have to fuck her. Because if I don't fuck her, I don't have a place to stay. But it's the weekend. Party over here. Party over there. You dumb motherfucker. Be a man. Be a woman. And go out and get your money. If you're broke, if you're poor, if you're in a state of financial lack, you will never be off. You can't be off. You can't afford to be off. You can't afford to be off. If you 17, 20 some, 30 some, you can work fucking seven days a week. I am 52 fucking years old and I can still outwork most of you. That is a damn shame. Y'all should be running fucking circles around my ass. You should be like, ha ha, Glennon, you can't catch me. You out of breath. I'm, I'm running for these dollars. I'm running for these dollars, motherfucker. I'm running. Oh, it's the weekend. I ain't. I, I don't. I can't be bothered. I gotta be with, with Big Booty Betty. I gotta be on the beach. You down there in fucking Florida with no money in your pocket. You, you and five of your friends pooled all your little money together to go to Florida with no money. And then when you get across women who want you to have a little money, it's like, oh, those bitches gold diggers. <clears throat> He's supposed to give us that good pussy free. Even though I'm fat, I'm overweight, I need some dental work. Ah, those bitches, they uppity. No, they ain't. They're fucking normal. <laughs> they ain't uppity. They want you to be about something. That is natural. That is natural. That is the fucking state of the universe. And I am so fucking glad we're on the precipice of this recession. Because a lot of you motherfuckers already have learned. And I give you kudos and I Tip my head off to you, but a lot of you motherfuckers about to learn because 
you know, in the YouTube space, everybody's trying to get sponsorships. Let me tell you what's going to happen to a lot of these sponsorships. They're going to dry the fuck up. The top five or 10% will still get sponsors and their shit's going to get cut. And if you're in that top five or 10% and you don't have salesmanship, you don't have marketing, you, you, you're going to be in the world of hurt. You're going to be in the world of hurt. So this carnage that is coming because Walmart, someone sent me this. I get your name, but I appreciate it. Walmart is not hiring seasonal workers. This is the second year in a row they've done this. They're not hiring anyone. They're going to give people they already have for hours. That should tell you something. But you can't afford to be off if you broke. You can't if you don't have two thousand dollars in your checking account. You can't afford to be off. If you don't have more money coming in than you need per month, you can't afford to be off. Weekends are for hustling, especially if you're young. I'm like, you know, you're 68. Okay, I can see you easing up on the weekends, but you still got something going on. To, but you 20 years old and you sitting on your ass wishing you had some money versus going out and getting it. You should be running circles around me. I mean, this is the reality because I'm speaking harshly and I'm speaking rugged and I'm speaking raw to you motherfuckers because you got to understand the big penis in the sky is coming for real. Here's some predictions for you. I was right on Bitcoin and I was right on this recession. During this recession, jobs are going to disappear and they're never coming back. Because during this recession, whatever duration it is, automation and tech is going to be like crack on the street to a bunch of crackheads. They, corporations, big companies are going to start gobbling up this technology and automation. And a lot of jobs that will be lost during this recession are never coming back. I want you to hear me on this because if you ain't scared, if you ain't like, oh, shit, you didn't hear me. I've said it before. I've said it again. I don't have any personal debt right now. Because I feel that carnage is coming. I feel that a financial Armageddon is coming. And for those of you who are in good situation, you got money in the bank, you need to be hustling to keep your situation the same. You need what's called a surplus. Not just doing, not just treading water, not just a little bit ahead of the average cat. I had one dude in the group, Arden Bolton. He's saving a G a month. Live by himself got his own car and saving the G a month. Y'all all should be like that. Every man, every woman that's listening, you should all be like that. Because what's coming is going to socially change our economy. Like, I'm, I'm about to get political. Kavanaugh, there is enough circumstantial evidence upon his drinking that he did that shit. I believe he did that shit. But it didn't matter. You want to know why they put this motherfucker on the Supreme Court? Because they know how he's going to vote. And this is why this is coming. We're going to get back to how women were free. Women were free. Women were free to have a child or not have a child. They had rights that men, that well, currently they have that men don't have. Like if a woman, if you want this woman to have a kid and you write up a note and say, I'm going to do all this stuff, I'm going to support you. And she's like, I don't want to have this baby. You can't make her. But she can make you be a financial husband. She can force you to be a financial husband. She can force you to give up 17 to 20 some percent of your paycheck without your permission. They set the women free in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s. And they imprisoned the fucking men. And the men are like, the men of Mig toe, red pill, men said, fuck this. I am not going to have any children. I'm going to get a vasectomy. I am not going to get married. This is men revolting because it is fundamentally unfair. So what are they going to do? They're going to imprison the women again. They're going to get rid of these additional privileges and perks that women have. They're about to go bye-bye. These entitlement programs, they're about to be gone. I don't care if the Democrats win the House and the Senate. This shit is already underway. 
And if the Democrats don't win the House and the Senate, that means that Me Too is full of shit because there's more than enough women to change the outcome of any election. But all of a sudden they're like, hey, our sons, are, this shit's been going on for 15 years. This shit's been going on long before I had this channel. Dudes, he, he touched me in college. You're out of college. Your scholarship, all that shit, gone. This shit's been going on. All of a sudden now they're like, hey, because you know what? And I'm about to say it. Most of America is not for abortion. People may say it. They may tweet it. But when they get in that vote booth, Republican, because they're going to end abortion. And you're about to see a reversal in a throwback. For those who don't have money, for those who don't have the privilege of wealth and richness, y'all about to be cast up in some fucked up shit. I said this in an older video, how I saw this pretty blue-eyed little blonde chick get her ass tore asunder by a judge about 10, 15 years ago. And I was like, oh, shit. And my black ass walked the fuck out of there. My shit dismissed. Why? Because I know the system. I'm going to start saying this. Don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. And the motherfucking rules so you can win. And I knew the motherfucking rules of court. And a lot of y'all was slipping on that shit. Like, I'm going to say it. If a police officer tells you to turn around and you don't, the minute that you act up, you're resisting arrest. And what comes with that after that it's on you, bruh, or sis. And you can't tell these ignorant people that because they're like, well, you, you should be able to move and twitch and put your hands on the officer. They, they ain't really do that much. The law fucking states if an officer gives you a lawful off, uh, order while in uniform and you disobey, you are resisting arrest, even if you just do that's all it takes, but you can't tell dumb motherfuckers this because they feel that they entitled. Got too many folks brought up by single parent households, aka women, who act like women in times of stress. And then when they get all kinds of fucked up, then they're like, it's unfair. This shit's always been unfair. The golden rule is he who makes the rule, who has the gold makes the fucking rules. At that moment, that cop is judge, jury, and if possibly executioner on your ass ain't shit gonna happen to him and you could march and do all this other shit you want to or you can get some fucking money so you can have some real power you can't be off on the fucking weekends i'm just amazed at this but once again the carnage is coming the uh carnage is happening uh we're gonna have this thing that's socially gonna change everything because we got too many people who think, because it's the weekend, I need to be off. That shit is just whack. It really is. All right. <laughs> I had to get that off my chest because I was like hot. I was like, what is up with these motherfuckers? All right. Let's see what's going on in the chat room. What's up, Cool Breeze? Foxy the Pirate. What's up, Raquel? Carl B. Anthony Wright. King Taurus. What's up, Agent J. Poor Perceptions Media? You agree 100%? Hey, you a hustler, Raquel. What's up, Jenny Walton? Diana? Anthony Wright? What's up, Leonardo? Hey, Supreme. I'm trying to hit people up because I'm seeing a bunch of silly shit. And then when this carnage and the big dick, the big penis in the sky get your ass, you ain't going to have nobody to blame but your fucking self. Because right now, this is the time to prepare. This is the time to get ready. You can't get ready once the horse has left the stall. You know, like, let me close the gate. It's too fucking late then. What's up, people? Gunja, speaking of the reefer, man, I saw someone's car got repoed at my apartment complex this morning. You're going to see a lot of that, man. You're going to see a lot of that. It's going to be sad, but it's going to be true. What's up, raining woman? What's up, Erica Williams? <laughs> All right, perceptions, hobosexual. What's a, what's a hobosexual? Good Lord, Erica. Oh, you, hobosexual, you sleeping with someone for a place to live, you need to be working three jobs. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know that. A hobosexual. What's up, Christian? What's up, Black Zeus 92 Thanks for the $10 super chat. You got to grind before you shine. Absolutely. 
What's up, Johnny Marshall? <laughs> oh man, I, I don't really care anymore, man. We we're at a critical juncture. When I saw that someone with enough circumstance evidence gets put on the Supreme Court, I was like, I'm done. And I started to look to see a lot of my predictions were based upon looking at politics where I was wrong. I started looking at the people. I did a, a poll on my Facebook page, like how many people are against abortion? And that's like, oh shit, this is why this is happening. Agent J. Poole, thank God it's Friday. I'm like, that's why you broke. My hustle is seven days, no Instagram flaking over here. Amen, amen, let the church say amen. Diana Orchard's 52 plus two day old. Get him. <laughs> well, Eric Williams, thanks for $10 super chat. Man, exactly these damn bums. <laughs> Man, because at 40 years old, people want them to have their own place, own car, and have some drive in their life. Man, Glennon, they're going to come for you with this one. <laughs> this is why no one knows where I live. Oh, what's up, Robert Burner? Johnny Walton, uh, absolutely. 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 Agent J. Poole, and this is very important. Will the non hustlers survive the lag between their jobs and universal basic income? Nope. I believe there will be a universal basic income, but not because they want to be good people because they're going to have to do it, but they're going to drag their feet. They're going to be slow about it. And he's absolutely right. Adonis, man, I can't wait for these deals to be had from folks having to liquidate. It's coming, man. It's coming. I know it. Oh, Cheeto Hilton. Small steps will take you far places. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, that's why I have a gun, because crime is going to go through the roof. It's already started around here. Uh, I'm the interstellar to be on their free thinking. The reason they're trying to get rid of abortion is because they're trying to get the white. No, mm -mm. And nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. The trend of white people being the uh, non-dominant population is about 20 years away. They can kill. It ain't nothing that's going to do it because the thing is, when generationally it's too big to stop this generation that's after the millennials is 81 million people big so possibly the next generation behind that is going to be smaller but the generation after that is going to be huge so they ain't nothing they can do to stop this it, it is just too much unless they can just stop everybody from fucking. good luck with that they used to burn people at the stake and they stop people from fucking. Think about that. The biological imperative is strong as a motherfucker. Uh, let's see. We just jumped. What's up, Carlson Double Seven? Jorey, I'm out here hurting, hunting at a late p.m. in Miami. Good man, good man. What's up, Abby? No, it's already had a repo unit attached for my for for my F three fifty. Just waiting. <laughs> oh man, what's up? See you today, David Tillery. I was literally talking to one of my buddies today and told him that I was going to work today because I own the business. He said, this Sunday, you should relax. Needless to say, I made 400 bucks today. You see, people don't understand. People don't understand. Guns, I'm against the ideal of tax dollars used for abortion. I don't give two fucks if someone wants to get an abortion. It, it ain't about tax money. We are on the cusp of a social revolution between a civil war between men and women. 
women have inalienable rights that men don't have, and the men aren't having it. The men are getting rallied. They're, shit, I'm a product of that environment. After my first divorce and that, that raping, that shit I went through, I was like, oh, this ain't happening again. You got dudes who are scarred for life because essentially a woman can like, I want this, I want this, I want this. And until recently, she was getting it. In New York, they had men ordered to pay child support on the income they never made. Men were going to jail for not paying child support because essentially uh, dudes were making minimum wage. They were having like child support orders of a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks. They were having child support orders bigger than what they actually made o overall. So trust me on that. This is this is way bigger than tax dollars. This is social movement. Uh, Raphael, it's the opioid drug opioid drug epidemic. Oh, absolutely. In times of financial carnage. Drinking increases, weed increases, drug. Oh, yeah, vices are going to go through the roof. Drug man going to be paid. And if right, think about all the things you can do to make money on the weekends. I mean, from cutting grass, movie stuff to hauling. I mean, you can make an easy 500 to 1,000 a week working weekends. Not a lot was said in that comment. Kubri's about to leave current girlfriend because she doesn't want me to become a doc. No, man, she don't want you to become more valuable. That's what that is. Good man. Uh, Tarji, the future may see debtors, prisons, and the company providing your housing and other necessities results in being beholden in debt to the company. Man, they have dorms for adult people. Look, go to Google, go to the Google machine, and look up dorms for adults, and it's going to blow your mind. Because people can't afford to live on their own. Oh, man, Cheeto, that happened to you? Ashley D., what about working women? What about them? Same shit's going to happen. I ain't just talking to the dudes. I'm talking to the women as well. There's a lot of women. Oh, it's the weekend. I'm going to go ahead and buy this dress I can't afford. Wear it to the club and take it back on Tuesday because you couldn't afford that dress. I'm talking to the women too. Also, I do the Instacart on the weekends. Going to try to tell my mom that, but she didn't believe in regarding court and divorce. As my rule of not arguing with women, I left her alone. Pretty much, man. They, they own some stupid stuff. Cool. Oh, honest price, price of pussy. Is at an all time low right now. During this recession, you're going to have tens that you can get for a nickel. And this is why everyone talks about they want a sugar daddy, they want a baller. I've shown you the numbers. There ain't that many sugar daddies, there ain't that many ballers. So if a dude got money, he's in good shape, he's good looking, he knows his power, he ain't going to get some scrub sugar. He's going to get the best of the best of the best, sir. And during this recession, it's going to get worse. Uh, here in Detroit, we had a few noticeable homeless folks, but now we look like California with homeless people sleeping on the street in packs. Agent J. Pool, and that's that's why I'm being hard on people, man. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue to preach this message because you may not like me. That's cool because I'm, I'm a hard motherfucker to like. I get that. But you better respect the information because I told you about Bitcoin. I was one of the few people here on YouTube that did not fall for the fucking okie doke. There were people, well-known people, telling you to invest in Bitcoin. And what did I tell you? Don't fucking do it. And if you listen to me, you would not have lost any money. Because Bitcoin is going to go down even more. So you want to buy on the dip and lock in those losses? Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Because the homeless situation is real. It's very, very real. Uh, seize today. Go to the Google machine. Write down 20 things you want to do and see if you can make money with them. Uh, 
Eric Williams, it's already here. One in four children under 11 year old is Hispanic. Only three out of 10 babies are white. Majority is some type of minority and mixed. Yeah, pretty much. And the new homeless population seems to be exclusively white. Agent J. Pool, I'm going to tell you why. For so long, that group has been coddled and propped up. Because, see, let me give you the dirty game. The rich whites have used the poor whites as their soldiers. How many of you were in the military? 11, bang, bang. The poor whites were the infantry. And they told them, Psst, you're white. You're better than a black person. And the white person like, Damn Skippy, damn Skippy, right? But the reality was there was really no difference in the economic circumstances of a poor black person or a poor white person. Economically, they were the fucking same. But because these rich white people whisper, whisper, whisper in their ear and got them all pumped up and like, yeah, country, the rebel flag, white power, right? They just as poor as, as black folks. So they have been the foot soldiers, right? Now those motherfuckers are waking up and they're like, wait a minute. I think someone played the trick on me because, wait a minute, and they're waking up. And this is why they're homeless because black folks are used to bullshit. And through centuries and decades of bullshit, a lot of us have become extremely fucking tough. And a lot of them have not. As evidenced by the last recession, a guy who was a millionaire and he lost some properties and stuff. And this is the thing. He still would have been a millionaire. He killed himself and left his wife and two children because he could not suffer the embarrassment of being less than. He still would have been rich. He just wouldn't have been as rich and he killed himself because he couldn't deal with it. So there's a psychological component with many people in that demographic. They ain't that fucking tough. They just ain't. And when this, as experienced by the opioid epidemic, they dull their pain and I'm not shitting these people because life is hard, but look at the results. That's why I'm like, you know, people are talking about white supremacy. I'm like, fuck you. That's some bullshit. Show me the evidence. Show me the evidence. Can you channel addiction for success? Absolutely. That's what I did. I turned pain to profit. Uh, perceptions me the true. I was in Brentwood, Nashville, Nashville, and saw just as many homeless Caucasians as in Skid Row was crazy. Trust your eyes. You are seeing what's happening. You're hearing all this stuff. People go, white supremacy, right? But you're seeing these motherfuckers on the street. And there's going to be more of them because more of them got gassed up and they believed in the false narrative. And now I've said this before and I'll say it again. Truth deals with us all at some point. At some point, I don't care how long someone's gassed you up, you going to one day look in the mirror and be like, oh, shit. I had my old shit moment in that boarding house. I wasn't as smart as I thought I was. I wasn't as good. My dick game wasn't as good. My wife cheated on me. I had to swallow a lot of fucking humble pills. I was like, fuck, I'm a fucked up individual. And from that heap, I built and I haven't looked back. But once again, y'all living a life of a lie. You live in a false narrative, and sooner or later, that false narrative is going to turn into a viper and <laughs> spank that ass. Knock it out, Shabazz. Sheeto Hilton, yes, years ago, was paying child support for income that I wasn't making. Uh, it was so bad in New York, they actually had to change the law because you had good dudes in prison because they could not pay these Phantom support orders. Judges were just pulling numbers out their asses. So with the imprisoning of the men, and the men's just like, I ain't going to work. I ain't going to build shit. So you can't take anything away from me. This is a problem for society as a whole. It'll take another generation to work out. But rest assured, abortion's gone. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Good Lord, we jump. Sure thing, Agent J. Poole, Eric Williams, these child support orders in Alaska are 100, 1,000 to 1,400 for a long time. Most middle two dudes were like, did I get anyone pregnant in Alaska? Half <laughs> any voice walkers, I know, man. I ain't taking no prisoners. 
What's up, Derek Bailey? Side piece about to get a promotion. A lot of side pieces about to get promotions because they cooperate. Then do do anything you can to get money. Uh, ridiculous TV. Poor blacks went to the prison industrial complex. Go to the Google machine and you will see that the prison rate for black people, black men and women, has dropped fucking twenty percent. See, there's two groups of people talking. Um, let's say we'll just say Democrat talking points and Republican talking points without actually doing the research. If you go to the Google machine and do three, you will find out that that ain't really true. The number of white people going to jail has skyrocketed. Because this system don't care. This system like the honey badger. System don't care. Honey badger don't care. If your ass can work and make the system money, you, your ass is in the system. Black, white, Hispanic. Here's one that you never hear. Hispanic males are killed at a rate higher than black men. You don't hear no one saying shit about that. It's absolutely terrible it's horrible where is that because see this is one of the things you got to stop doing you got to stop riding for quote your group and you got to look at the truth because when you look at the truth and you look at the numbers and you accept the truth you can make better decisions for yourself and your group hispanic males are shot more than black males you don't hear no one ever talking about that that's who's going to be the next dominant population See, si, senor, see. Si. And a lot of y'all are going to be shocked. That's right. Your boss is going to be named Lopez. Your boss is going to be named Gonzalez. <laughs> Your boss is going to be named the Jesus. <laughs> Watch. The shit's coming. All right, all right. Uh... Once again, see, this is a bullshit free Joan, and I'm going to educate you. I went to the military industrial complex. Let me look. I'm black as all day. Get out. See, the, the choice to go in the military because you had a lot of cold. Hotel, hotel, hotel. Don't go into the white man's military. It was a choice. Just as many black people as white people couldn't win the military. It was a choice, and a lot of people chose not to make that choice. Just like it's a choice to sell drugs and get your ass busted up in the prison and be um, Nate's cheek mate. Get your cheek split by Nate. It's a choice. Again, we, we're not playing those racial fucking politics here. If you're going to say something, you need to back it up and you need to do third party research because everything you said is untrue. Let's see. What's up, Anton? Channel Nate, I'm in Orange County, California. White homelessness is real, yet these black folks keep preaching whites. I know, man. Uh, how to for us? The recent Supreme Court elect is proof of white supremacy. Actually, no, it's not. Let's talk about that. What is Brett Kavanaugh? He is a son of wealth and privilege. His mom and dad were attorneys. He went to a private school. You see all these people were coming out who were saying, hey, that, you know, yeah, he was a Trump. They were doctors, lawyers. No, the recent Supreme Court nomination was of wealth privilege, not white privilege. These are the wealthy whites. And since you can't seem to separate that, you're missing some very important cues. All I got to say to you is, O.J. Simpson, he had the money. And that money set him free. OJ led the way, but a lot of y'all don't want to work like OJ. You don't want to put out any money. You don't want to build any wealth because that shit's hard. You just want to sit around and go, eh, white supremacy. No, it ain't. It's wealth, bitch. It's fucking wealth. Get yourself some money and you can live like that too. Once again, we ain't dealing with this racial poor. I'm a poor little black child. I can't do nothing. The white man got his foot on my neck with your weak ass. I ain't having that shit on my channel. Uh, so Hispanics too busy working, man.
Oh, Douglas Jones is coming in here. If you read the Stephen King's The Shawshank Redemption, he details for profit slave labor in New England prisons from the 1940s to 70s, with most of the victims being white. But see, this is one of the problems I have with the hotel notion. They only want to speak about unfairness to blacks, and they're very, very myopic with that, and fuck everyone else. Learn from history. White people did that same shit, and look what the fuck's happened to them. You have the opportunity not to fall prey to that bullshit. Look out for everybody. Don't be like, hey, I'm just going to look out for black people. White people did that, and I, what's going to happen to them? Why do you think all of these white women are getting with black men and Asian men? Once again, resources. Mr. Charlie don't have all the resources anymore. That's why their women are going all over here. They're going over here. They're going over here. Or I should say the women, because they're not your women. Women have economic and sexual agency. They're not any group's woman. They can do whatever the fuck they want. And that's what they're doing. And this is why dudes are shook. Like, why are black women dating white dudes? And why are white women dating black dudes? And, and why are Hispanic women date black dudes? You should be like, fuck, what can I do to improve myself so I can get the best woman that I want? Not worrying about what someone else's dick is sliding into. Because they ain't your woman. It ain't your pussy unless you claim this woman. And most of you are not in a position to claim a woman because you don't have nothing to offer. Ouch. We take no fucking prisoners here. I'm changing the content here. I want to run all of the weak bitches off this channel. I want you so, like, when you get ready to, oh shit, fuck, no, I ain't, fuck that. Fuck him. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna comment. That's, that's what I want. Uh, let's see. We jumped. Prison black people is down. White people, women went up 50% because of drugs, trafficking. Erica, they don't want to know the truth. They want to keep believing these narratives because they don't have to face the fact in the, in the person in the mirror that they've actually fucked up. They want to keep leaning on these false narratives. I know, Anthony, I know. Ren Rome, you see Gary V done flipping now, jar sales. Hey. And reach those lower echelons. Barfield, you changed my perspective, perspective on the white man is, is the problem. BS, I stopped watching certain YouTubers because of it. Man, anyone, here, here's the thing. Anyone who talks about white supremacy and does not have a strong economic message, they're bullshit. If they're talking about white supremacy, and it's look, we need to build businesses, you need to get a business. And if this person who's talking about white supremacy has a business that isn't based upon tricking people into believing in white supremacy. If they have a real business, a landscape business, some kind of business. Uh, when I was growing up, the pastors had jobs. They worked in the coal mine. They, they did stuff. They didn't just make their money off the church. They actually had fucking jobs. So if someone who is, quote, a racial pastor and his source of money is tricking you to give him money so he can live good, he's a charlatan. He is an agent of white supremacy because he ain't fucking helping you. He ain't giving you information to free yourself. He's enslaving you by blaming it on the white man. I know they will come for me for that. <laughs> Thrill Ali, that's funny. Erica Williams already happened in Texas. My friend Hispanic, but looks white. Staff under him said he was racist. He was like, how? I <laughs> come to work on time. <laughs> oh man, Barfield, that's what I'm talking about. They can't show you and they can't teach you what they don't know. I'm talking about you can make money from Craigslist, you can make money from eBay, you can make money from Amazon, you can make money from a service business. There are several videos on this channel that teach you how to make fucking money. Because once you start making money, you're going to fucking free yourself. Once you get to $50,000, you're going to see a little difference. When you get to 100 k you're going to see a little difference. When you get to 150 dollars you're going to see a fucking big-ass difference. You get to half a million, you're going to be like, holy shit. You get to a million a year? Uh, she, she, she can, I, got a client, I got a client here who, who made a comment. She lives in New York, and she's the only one in her building that lives by herself. 
What you think about that? How many folks in New York live by themselves? There's a few, not that many though. All right, all right. So I went off enough. I just wanted to do that because that irked me. I'm like, if you need something and there's opportunity, but you're like, it's the week, and baby, you're playing some seriously bad games that's going to catch up with you. Because the reason I'm burning now is in the, because I know what can happen. I know what can happen. I've been there. I know what it's to be completely 100% ass out. Some of you don't know, but some of you find out. Unfortunately, Let's see. So with the five dollars, let me find that person. Rock and roll, Dina. Thank you for the five dollars super chat. Because uh, we're gonna have a lot more of these real conversations. And for those of you who go over to Disrupted Mail, because I'm not putting that link on this channel, um, there are certain videos I'm no longer gonna do on YouTube. We're gonna get into the real of the real about female nature. Some things I'm gonna provide videos. I'm gonna provide text. I'm gonna show you some shit. And I'm gonna provide receipts, but it won't be on YouTube because YouTube is becoming like Disneyland, like Times Square in Vegas. That's what they're doing to YouTube. So you gotta be really, really cool here on YouTube now. Eric Williams, 10K down payment on a check, uh, on a check house in the South will get you a cement truck with money. Folks like how you got 10K saved, $27 a year. Folks have to get money up. There you go. Uh, Douglas Jones, the early days of the modern civil rights movement from the 1940s to 1960s was financed almost exclusively by poor blacks and black small business people. A.G. Gaston bailed Martin Luther King out of jail. A.G. Gaston was one of the few people who jump started the civil rights movement and people put their money where their opinion was. Like he said, there were poor black folks, ball businesses. They were spending those dollars. They were like, not up in the strip club, but on those civil rights. They bought their freedom. But a lot of people like want someone else to do the heavy lifting. <laughs> Eric, I'm walking on the treadmill at the gym because I'm getting the best thing I can get. This is cracking me up. I'm serious. Hey, on my other channel, you saw what I put up. I was walking. You know, th this is the thing. And this is a good thing in my opinion. Everybody's got to compete for everything. You want a good mate, you got to work out. You, you want the best of the best, you got to be the best of the best. This, this is the times we live in. It. What has really got people shook is America is more fair than it's ever been, which means everybody's got to compete. And there's a lot of people who don't want to compete. A granddaddy didn't compete. Their great granddaddy didn't compete. They just think that they were that great. Psych. Truth deals with us all. All right, so uh, once again, if you want to get into uh, private conversations, go to Disrupted Mail. The link's over there. If you want to get the free books, link's below. And if you want to be updated on the fire, because I'm probably going to do fire the rest of the year, because I don't care, because I got a new plan. You want to get on that tech notification list, because uh, there's going to be some stuff. I'm going to do some. I'm not going to mention what I'm going to do because I, I, I want to do it. And then instead of talking about it, I'm going to do it. All right. So with that, I'll see you guys later. It is Sunday night. Hopefully Monday you got some stuff going because uh, we're going to make it hot. Block all these ghetto ass references. It's sad. It's really sad. I must confess my sins. But anyway, I'll see you folks in the next video. So go below. Get on that text notification list, get your free books, and more importantly, don't just get the books, actually take action with the information that you're getting for free. What's going on? This is a little different, but I thought I would explain to you guys what the new situation is. It's digital education, how to make money online. I'm finally getting around to teaching the things that I do or currently doing. And this is going to be hustlers. Kung Fu life skills isn't going anywhere. 
I'm going to go through what's happening with that tomorrow. But what I'm going to do is this is going to be my main focus the rest of the year in 2020. What this is, because, you know, there, there's so many people who talk about how to make money online and you'll have an FBA course or you'll have a how to run ads course. But there is no comprehensive curriculum that's going to answer all of your questions. I'm in a ClickFunnels group and I just look at all the questions that people are asking and just they just don't have the comprehensive online education. So what I'm putting together, and this is from learning from this, this is B-School for Hustlers. Um, funny thing is, I, I created this about three years ago, and I created a Stripe account for it, and the Stripe account was still open. So apparently, they don't have a problem with B-School for Hustlers. So in, in any case, we could get around that. But let me take you through the whole process. Now... This will include an updated version of the art of holding. And I'm going to get into that. So you got two ways to get in here. 1600, one and done. And 18 times 125 per month. So you got two ways to get in here. And this pricing is just going to be available while I'm beginning. Because once I build out a course and the course is done, then I'm going to raise the price of this because this is the there's not much there pricing with more to come. So one of the things that, you know, we're going to do. And let's see. Um, really don't want to be there. Let's do this. Let's go to B school for hustlers. You like that? You like that? You're the lion. The zebra is the money. Go get that money. That's the world we live in. All right, here it is. So, what we're going to talk about is this is going to include nine courses. Once again, the courses are not done. As these courses come online, like how to market and sell on YouTube. That will be a course. And, you know, it's not 100% ready. And how to make more money from Broke Dick Danny to pay Percy. That's going to be a course. The strategic holding company, how to set up and deploy. There's going to be a ton of information from the art of holding plus additional information going forward. The Google Ads course, how to run successful and profitable ads, how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit. The Hustler's Mindset course, how to change your thinking for abundance. I'm going to go deep there. How to make money with content, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. The Money Management course, how to prep your financial love for happiness and joy. And the money game, how to play and win. So what you're going to be doing is getting, because I don't really know how long it's going to take me to build out all these courses. And, you know, need to get rid of that. Because, um. Because I'm already got, I'm adding stuff here. And I need to go ahead and change that because I will have people trying to get into this. But I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to set up. a rugged, durable online business. Because one of the things is like with these other courses, 
and they're good courses. They're not bad. But the thing is, you're not getting the full deal. You're not getting a comprehensive. Uh huh. So we're going to do this for because I'm going to add more to this. Two ninety nine. Just get rid of that free. But essentially, this is going to be everything you need to start a successful online business or a collection of online businesses. Because the Google Ads course, because, you know, I don't know how to do Facebook ads, but I know how to do Google ads. So I'm going to do a course on that. I know how to sell and create online courses. I'm going to do a course on that. I got the money management thing. I know how to market and sell on YouTube. Do a course on that. How to make money with content. I'm going to lay out some stuff that, you know, many people don't understand. And this is just going to be fun. I could build this out in maybe three months. I could build it out in six months. I'm giving myself six months to build this out. So you will have these courses. They will be done. They'll be available. You will be able to use this information to make money pretty much if you're on a payment plan before you pay for this. I want you to think about that because it's going to be like an online school. You know, and I'm thinking about adding some more stuff to it. And I will say this, that if I add any more stuff to it before 2020, that also will be included in the pricing that I put out. Because there's some stuff I'm mulling over because, you know, I'm thinking this is pretty much it. Um, this is the things that I do. These are the things I know how to do. These are the things I make money with. And if I add anything else, that will be part of this deal. And once again, the pricing is there's not much there. The money management, how to prep your financial life and happiness and joy, that's going to be done very quickly. And that's going to be your first course. And what's going to be different about this than um, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills is you're going to do the money management course first. You're going to do the hustler's mindset course second. Then you're going to do how to make more money from broke dig Danny to pay Percy third. And then we're going to get into the strategic holding company. There will be a certain sequence that you will take these courses in where they make sense because let's take the money management course. What's the use in you making money if you're just going to blow it big willy style? If you're just going to not properly do what you need to do? You, you, it's just, you know, you're going to create more problems for yourself. You go out and you start making more money and you have bad money management habits. You're going to like maybe develop a drug dependency problem. Um, like the video I put on Disruptive Mail, you may be going out buying hookers and blow and think that's a good idea where to put the money versus putting the money into long term asset building processes. So that's going to be the first course. Everyone's going to take that and you, you get all of this. And I will <clears throat> go ahead and stress as I build these out, I'm going to change the price of the offer. Right. This pricing is, you know, because I'm pretty much going to do the hustlers mindset course after the money management course. Then we're going to get how to make more money from broke dick Danny to pay Percy. Uh, I'm pretty much going to go through those really quickly. I might get those done before the end of the year. And then uh, the strategic holding company. I've got probably 75% of the content already, so that's going to go very fast. So there will be a lot here for you to do, learn, and process and begin doing very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is for you folks who are going to take advantage of the payment plan, I made the payment plan very affordable. Um, 
you're going to get all of this stuff before you finish paying. So fortunately, when I do payment plans, I have a very good, you know, high completion rate. And most people are honorable. So I'm going to trust you guys to be honorable. And also something else that's going to happen. Now, this isn't the T-shirt. That isn't the T-shirt. <clears throat> I'm going to craft a designer, and we're going to come up with a Digital Citizen T-shirt. And that's also included in the course. It may be a long sleeve. I may do a long sleeve. I'm going to work on that tomorrow. But I feel that this is a well-rounded curriculum for you to make money online. Because I know a lot of you don't want to do YouTube, but I'm telling you, the power of YouTube is sick. I mean, you know, let's just keep it honest. Like, uh, my main channel, it ain't really doing the YouTube thing, but just on the AdSense, you know, level, I do 1500 to 3000 a month, and my channel really ain't bumping the way that, you know, because... Uh, this is the reason I'm starting new channels because I started one new channel. I'm going to start some more because the algorithm is favoring new channels like you wouldn't believe. And, you know, like Disruptive Mail. Disruptive Mail makes consistent money. And I'm, I'm taking some of the new training that I had and I'm applying it to Disruptive Mail and I'm starting to see results. So, and how to make money with content. <clears throat> We're going to discuss how to create the right type of content because you got to have the right stuff. So <clears throat> this is the new deal. And this is a combination because I woke up this morning really early and I started working on this. And all this happened today. I built this out today. I strategized it. I've been really, really thinking about it in my mind. I've been thinking about it. And now that, you know, it's fully out of my head, I felt very productive. I felt very energized. I felt really, really good that this thing is done. So this is what's going to drop. This is what's going to happen. And the link it will be below because you will be taking the money management course. There's already content there. There's training already there. And I'll get that finished before you can go through the whole course. And we will get this. So this is what it is. And if you want to start an online business, you know, like I said, there's a few other courses I'm thinking about doing, but I haven't committed to them. So they're not there. But if I do add these courses before the end, you know, because it, it will be before the end 2020. I will include that in this offer, the t-shirt, we will be having webinars, there, there's a lot of stuff, because like I'm, I'm going back to how I used to do it, so we're going to have webinars where you could come in and ask questions, it will not be live streams on YouTube, and we will be able to chop this up, so I, I, like I said, I feel very, very productive, I feel that this is going to be amazing for you because, you know, the Google Ads course, I mean, if you're going to create any kind of website, you got to learn how to run ads. Yes, you can get organic traffic, but it is super slow. And, you know, getting organic traffic can take years. And hands down, because you, you, will, you will actually start, you know, seeing me run ads and stuff. Because I've got... A budget I'm gonna start running ads and I'm gonna do a course after I get to running this so and you know how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit that's gonna be a winning class so there's a ton of value here for you if you want to start an online business and for those folks who don't want the whole thing as each course gets built out, then that will be made available to you. And it ain't going to be cheap. 
um, like your best bang is to get on the payment plan or to get the $1,600 deal now. That's your best deal. All right. This is Glendon. I will see you guys later. If you want to be part of this experience, this monumental educational experience, the link is below. So with that, I'll talk to you guys later.